Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are we all today? Wherever you are in the world, when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. Of course, the major news over the last 48 hours has been uh, a missile strike uh, in Poland. Uh, I'm still not clear where that missile came from. Uh, Ukraine is saying from Russia uh, and the Allies are actually saying it could have been a Ukrainian missile that strayed over the border in trying to stop a Russian missile. So I didn't think it was going to escalate. I still don't think it will escalate. Um, I think what will happen now is a little bit of reality gets uh i get guess we get a dose of reality and i think ukraine will be given um a more sophisticated uh aerial defense system um and and more money <laughs> so that's where i think that is uh that is leading the other news uh as we all expected as i said would would occur in my last reading uh the Donald Trump will not go quietly, uh, and he won't. Um, Mitch McConnell has been re-elected as the opposition Senate leader. Kevin McCarthy has been uh, has uh, been elected, I think, leader of the party, but not the speaker yet. He doesn't appear to have those votes. Now, here's what I think is going to happen with the House. As we know, the Senate uh, returned to the Democrats, uh, and it's like more than likely that Warnock will will uh, be re-elected as well, which will give the, the Dem Democrats a really good majority in the Senate. There was massive, uh, massively wonderful news at the governor level, and uh, and for a midterm response where the trend is to move away from the incumbent, uh, the re the re the the results were absolutely almost uh, miraculous, and that was because of a backlash against extremism. Now, nothing's changed. In fact, it's actually gotten worse in terms of the extremism with Donald Trump uh, announcing his re-election. Every cloud does have a silver lining, and of course, this will motivate voters. Uh, again, uh, a percentage of Republicans, the independents, and the Democrats Um you know, on the face of it, there's no way that Donald Trump at this time could win a presidential re-election. Do we even have to worry about that? Well, I've had a few people come on uh, and, you know, uh, you know, say, can you read about this? Can you read about this? What's he what's he doing? You know, and there's a fear there. There's also this um weariness of Trump and everything to do with Trump uh, and and I concur with that um, I don't intend to be reading on his every move there's nothing about this channel that will change it will uh, still offer diversified content uh, for your sanity and for mine as well in answer to the fear question around Donald Trump I do feel feel that prior to the midterms, he was told he was a target of investigation. And that's what my cards were picking up. Um, it's, it's the reason why he's motivated to, uh, to run again. It's, it's desperation. Uh, I do feel that uh, if I had to put a time on it, you know, I'm not, not uh, unless I do those six monthly readings, time is hard for me to predict with tarot. But if I had to put a time on it, I'd say end of the year. I keep getting a draw to December, early next year. So I think the DOJ is very ready to act on these stolen uh, documents. Um, case i think there's an obstruction of justice charge that might be laid there um so we'll see how that pans out and we have the january 6th investigations that um witnesses are appearing before a grand jury all the time on that indicating this is an active investigation so you know he'll be indicted uh before he even gets to the presidential uh run and I don't think it's going to be him anyway. So uh, in my last reading, I um, did a did a reading on who if DeSantis might actually be the next candidate. I want to remind viewers, particularly my new view viewers, that I'm fully aware that Trump is a Gemini uh, and that the King of Pentacles has always been my signifier, signifier card for Donald Trump, the businessman. This has been so 
since the beginning of my readings. Those uh, newer voters, new, newer voters, <laughs> newer viewers uh, wouldn't have known that. And I guess some of the old older ones just forgot it. But yes, I know Donald Trump is a Virgo, is a Gemini, and the King of Pentacles it is my signifier card uh, for. Um, for Donald Trump, the businessman, just as the Empress card is my indicator card for Russia. Um, okay, so I think if I recall in that reading, often I forget what I've what I've read on it. It's kind of a channel and then it goes. Uh, if I recall in that reading, I think there was a page or a Knight of Pentacles that came up uh, as the potential future, and that is DeSantis. Uh, so at this stage, I'm quite convinced that Ron DeSantis will um, will you know, run in, uh, run against, against Trump. Um, but we've got a long way to go before we even get there. Uh, and, uh, an indictment at least before we get there. Um, so in relation to the house, I just want to say that I read yesterday on the house. Yes, it might go to the Republicans. Uh, it looks increasingly like the Republicans will take the House, but it is going to be very close. By the time the recounts are done, by the time the ballots are cured, by the time the results come in, Kevin McCarthy is in no way, the Republicans are in no way uh, destined for a dream run if they hold the House. I also uh, picked up yesterday, and this is something we might follow up if we get time today, there will be people in the Republicans Republican uh, Party that will leave Congress, whether that for one reason or another. So I'm stepping back a little bit from uh, the prediction. I'm going to say that in the immediate term, it looks like the Republicans will get that House. My prediction that, well, I was never comfortable predicting the House, and you all knew that. Um, I said if I had, it's going to be very close. It's a hard one to call, but if I had to, you know, I think the Dems will just squeeze in. Well, that was incorrect. Um, at this stage, at this stage. So I'm, uh, I'm going to step back a little bit from that prediction and just uh, adopt a wait and see approach. I think, still think it's going to be close. And as events unravel in 2023, let's see what happens. All right. Now today, uh, where are we going to start? Um, with some Oracle cards, um, well, not Oracle cards, with the good tarot, I just want to channel uh, a couple of messages from Spirit because I feel, you know, uh, Donald Trump uh, in for Americans and all around the world, believe you me, all around the world, it's a like post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, and I think we need, I think we need some messages from Spirit right now in light of that tawdry, low energy type of campaign announcement. Hmm, messages from spirit for my viewers that need that are listening now that need to hear a encouraging message or at least a message that clears the fog for them. Messages for my spirit, please. Messages for my viewers from spirit for those that are watching in this moment now. Interesting. Somebody is is in bed and ill. Um. Okay, so, oh, wow. <gasps> Patience, please, viewers. I had a couple of viewers that came on this morning and attacked me and said, you said in September that he was finished. Well, I still I still hold with that prediction. I think that, uh, I think if I recall, that was, might have been in my six monthly reading on Trump, but this is like uh, so, um, so obvious that the DOJ... Uh, is going after him. They have to go after him. He stole classified documents. All right. So, uh, and Putin uh, is on his um, is on his knees. That there's no doubt about that either. He's just he just he's resorted in his usual barbaric way when he loses to bombing Ukraine. So I think Ukraine's going to get better air defence systems as a result of what occurred in the last 48 hours. So patience, please. Please don't attack me. I'll just delete you and ban you from the channel. All right. Patience, 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 patience is the first card out. Um, I kept getting that in, in a reading I was doing in another forum, the Two of Wands. Um, this isn't the Two of Wands, but uh, it carries the same, the same meaning that we need to be patient. 
that something is un, unro, unrolling, unraveling, as it should, that events are taking place as they as they should, and that everything will be clear. And it's not a long way away. Okay, so we have the Queen of Earth. Stability. Patience brings stability. Many of you, like me, didn't watch that campaign speech. Many of you turned off social media uh, commentary on that. Um, stay away from it if it just brings up those bad memories. We, we're looking at stability here and ways to achieve stability. And this reading is clearly saying that you have to dig deep and be patient um, and allow events to take their course. Messenger of Earth. Okay, so this is like the page of Earth. This is like the page of Pentacles. Um, so we have here, again, slow steps forward, small steps forward after a period of time. One more, please. The Five of Fire. Understanding um, that there are obstacles and challenges in everything, in everything. There's also competition um, and uh, like a partisanship and, a, you know, our agenda is always the best agenda. And so we disrupt our peace when we play into that. I said one more, but one more. The King of Pentacles. <laughs> this has turned out to be a reading on Trump. Now, the King of Pentacles, the businessman, the um, obviously the narcissistic, side of the king of pentacles you know he can be quite um you know greed greed uh, if he's negatively posited but if he's pos if he, if he's posited uh positively this is about wisdom and maybe if we dig a bit deeper onto why the king of pentacles trump the businessman is my signifier card we might learn uh we might not learn but we might gain some insights around greed around uh, ego and around what we're chained to in this earthly realm. And how's all that going for Trump? Hmm? Do you really think it's going well? <laughs> one more. <laughs> this is the last one. Queen of Water. Okay, so uh, again, there's two queens in this reading and the messenger of Earth. Earth, patience and self-care. Uh, understanding that uh, even at this point, us stepping back allows for these events to unfold. So no, we're not going to read on the minutiae of Trump in the, on this channel. I'll leave that to anyone else who might want to do that. Uh, we will continue to bring, I will continue, Spirit and I will continue, my guides, my an angels um, will continue to, uh, br angelic guardians I should say, will continue to bring the, the most diverse content that we can give you. Seven of Pentacles. It is time for re a reset and a rethink. And it is time to move toward uh, a little bit of joy or a lot of joy in your life. Uh, understanding that is that this is a time of endings and beginnings. Uh, and we have divine justice. Divine justice here. So um, we've got plenty of evidence Plenty of evidence of what's good, uh, but we tend to forget the the good or the wins that we've had, and we tend to focus on the negatives. So today, uh, the message is around patience. All right, specific questions now. Um, I'm pretty happy that I drew those cards. They were helpful to me too. Remember, I've been up close and personal with this for nearly, what is it, five, six years now. So yeah, okay. All right, let's take a look at. Um, let's take another look at the house, um, and we might just look at if there are going to be other other nominations for the presidency. It will be more than one. All right, it'll be more than Trump. So let's. Uh, Let's have a look and what he might do in that case, because he does expect he will be the one nominee. All right. So um, let's uh, please don't forget your humor in all of this. Uh, no, we're not being complacent, but we also need to live in the here and now and live in the here and now with joy in our hearts, not fear. OK, so 
let's go to the house. Oh, wow. I've got an image of uh, Mother Mary here. Looking upward, skyward. Um, okay. And that there's a message around the divine fem feminine and also divine protection as well. And nurturing, nurturing yourself and others. Okay. The house. Show me what might happen with the house. Um, what's my question here? Uh, will seems a moot, moot point to ask. Will the Republicans take the house? Uh, so how is it going to? Is it okay? Will moderate, reasonable Republicans vote with the Democrat Democrats on any legislation over the next two years? Will moderate Republicans vote with the Democrats? On any legislation over the next two years. Seven of Cups pathways, difficult pathways for them to choose, isn't it? Um, choices, their choices, and they'll live with those choices as well. The Devil card, um, <laughs> well, what more do I need to say? The Devil card, chain to the Devil. This is difficult for them. It's going to be difficult for them. It's going to be difficult for McCarthy as well because we are watching. The silver lining is the more extreme it becomes, the more chaotic it becomes, the more likely a 2024 victory is for the, the Democrats again. We have the past being chained to the past. The choices that they make are both chained to the devil and chained to the past. Okay, we have justice in the rearview mirror here or in the past. It's interesting, uh, when we do get divine ju justice, uh, and you can see that uh, taking place uh, wherever we look, if we look hard enough, we see that uh, Putin has been uh, humiliated and defeated in Ukraine at this stage. Fair to say that his troops um, have literally run in their withdrawal, um, and he is battling all, all kinds of chaos in, in Russia, as well as some very heavy financial sanctions. In America, we have Trump. Uh, he's, he's a target. We know he's a target of the investigations, whether they be about stolen documents or January the 6th. He lost. What is he? Three-time loser now. How much more justice uh, is going to go for a four, fourth-time loser? There's no way a majority ever will vote for him. You've got to remember also that those governor races were very instrumental in swing states. Shapiro in Pennsylvania. Katie Hobbs in Arizona. Michigan. Is it not Michigan? Yes, Michigan. Whitmer in, in Michigan. And other places. Evers. Tony Evers. Um the flipping uh, in other state seats as well to blue. All of that is very instrumental, which will ensure the, the security of the elections. So Page of Cups, it's, it's easy to think to go back to the beginning and go, well, we didn't achieve anything. Well, yes, we did. Okay, Page of Cups, there's a bombshell here in uh, some kind of surprise turn of events. Will they vote? Yes. I'm thinking yes. Nine of Wands, the guardrails. Um, this is a this is a gift. You know what? You can say no. You don't have to say yes all the time. Uh, and if they buy into the extremism, they've got to face the electorate. Temperance and moderation. You know, I I I said I don't know if I told you about the vision I I had on the night of the election or as the elect, just be the night before I came on to read, but it was an angelic type of being um, and the message was everything was going to be okay. We have moderation and healing and temperance here and we have the Ace of Cups. Now, this was my outcome card in my last reading on the house, uh, which is a yes card, but it's come up here in, in relation to this question. So, on the face of it, everyone, you know, people want absolutes in their predictions, but it doesn't work like that. This tells me that there will be moderate Republicans that are already, yes, have already approached Speaker Pelosi and sa said, we will vote with the Dems for a moderate Speaker of the House. This is what we're seeing. 
The Eight of Wands in the Hopes and Fears. This is things moving very, very quickly. I think they'll call the house soon uh, or they'll take uh, they'll take take it as a win, the Republicans. However, until every single vote has been counted, the final makeup won't be known. The final result won't be known. So remember that if the Republicans get to 2018, we don't know the final result. So just hold, keep your powder dry. So they're going to have to defend themselves, but they're also going to stand their ground. And we have the seven of swords against the lies and the extremism. Sevens are lessons. This next two years for the Republicans are going to be full of lessons. And we've got disappointment. Yes, they will be pilloried. Um, but there is also another cup remaining. Fours are also uh, about standing your ground. They're going to have hard decisions in front uh, and they're going to be restricted uh, as well. So anyone who's a moderate won't find their way onto the committees. But we've got to be patient. We've got to be patient. Remember, there will be people who will resign from Congress over the next two years. The closer the Democrats can get, the better. And if they're within one vote in the future at any time, you can come back here and say, guess what? That one vote, that independent one vote came came to pass. All right. So um, now we'll go to the, um, I guess we can just quickly check. Um, I didn't read on Crimea. I think Ukraine is being a little bit pressured to negotiate with Putin and say okay you get out of the territories and you can take you you can take Crimea I think that's what they're being pressured to do um, but I'm gonna see here I'm gonna see will uh, will Ukraine take Crimea will Ukraine win back Crimea will Ukraine win back Crimea I think it's been put to Zelensky or Zelensky or the the West understands that if Crimea were to to fall, I, that might trigger that tactical nuclear strike. But we have the Sun card never right off. Literally, that's the wheat field in Ukraine. Um, that's a that's the strongest yes card in the in the pack. And the King of Swords, uh, Zelensky here. My card for Zelensky. Um, strategy and planning are going to win the day here. The high priestess, we've got something coming that we don't we don't understand quite yet. This is this is a secret that somebody is keeping. Some something that is going to be yet to be revealed. Something that's still in the subconscious. The Queen of Cups in the past. Um, you know, she is she brings stability through the emotions. She brings healing um, through uh, I guess stabilization of the emotions. She fights the good fight, in other words. The page of Wands in the sky, there's a potential for them to take Crimea. Let's see what's in the immediate future. Circles of support. Um, you know, this could be just the 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 West or the Allies urging uh, negotiations that may not even be true. That's only reported in the media. There looks like there's huge celebrations here. The here and now we've got speedy progress and advancement. We've got the Six of Swords moving out of troubled waters. The war is not the invasion is not going well for Putin. The hopes and fears something around the truth, clarity and the truth. The Ace of Cups, <laughs> I'm wary, that is a yes card, but I'm wary about saying that's a yes. Um, there's high levels of emotions here to retake Crimea, to take it back. Uh, it's heartfelt on the part of the Ukrainians. They are prepared to work toward that if, if only the West will keep supporting them. And we have the Hierophant, the government. So I think at the end of the day, there's going to be support for Ukrainians all the way through. I don't think anyone is going to not support them. 
We have the Ten of Swords. We have this complete and utter downfall and mixed with the Hope card. There may be negotiations yet to come, but there are definitely new starts. Um, so I'm going to say that it's almost, it's it's very possible, according to these cards and clarifiers, that Ukraine can retake Crimea, but we're not quite there yet. We're not quite there yet. Um, so uh, let's finish this reading with one quick pull. <laughs> okay. Let's just see if Trump is running... Uh, to think that he thinks it might help him in the courts against potential indictments or future indictments and ego. Is Trump running from ego and desperation around being indicted? Does Trump know he's a target of the investigations? Has he, Have his lawyers been told prior to the midterms that he is a target? Show me clearly that he is a target of DOJ's investigations. Does Trump know that he's a target? Ten of Wands. Okay, so this is like carrying great loads. Uh, it's the end of something. Does Trump know? Show me clearly. Does Trump know he's a target of DOJ investigations? Let me also say that when you're told you're a target or your lawyers are told you're a target, it's a forerunner to an indictment. It's a legal term. It's a legal process. Knight of Cups. <laughs> so he's trying to win something. Um, this is like an offer, an offer coming here. The Ten of Pentacles. That's money. That's, that's the Trump organisation as well. Three of Pentacles. This is working together, skilled, uh, skilled working together um, in teams. The DOJ, Six of Pentacles, loans and debts. Okay, there's something around his money and his pack, perhaps, that he's been told about. I didn't think about that. When he announces that he's running for presidency, he can know, he has to start reporting on the money that he's bringing in. Uh, there's something around the money that he's been told that something around there's there's the target there. Um, is it the wire fraud case? Three of wands in the sky. So this is like waiting for the ship to come in. Foreign help again, a redo of 2016. The ace of cups. He feels he can redo what he did in 2016. He wants this new reset. Um, so this is his ego and narciss narcissism coming through. Um, but was he told? Was he told? Let's keep going. Right now, <laughs> he, wants, he wants what he had before back. Was he told? Heartbreak, Ace of Wands, he's come up with a new plan. Was he told before the midterms? The Wheel of Fortune in the hopes and fears, I can spin this, I can change this. The Hanged Man, pause and suspension. Pause, something suspended. The Ace of Pentacles. This is also the New York investigation is coming through here, big time. This is the independent monitor of his organisation. Four of Cups, disappointment. One cup left. What's the cup that's left running? Uh, he feels that will make it right. The Ten of Swords, he's out of downfall. I'm going to draw a clarifier on that for you. Maybe from the... Um, which deck? Which, which deck? Maybe the Aquarian Tarot. I'm keeping it light and bright today in terms of the cards that I'm using. Uh, we're not going down rabbit holes here today. Okay, the hanged man, something being paused and suspended. What is that? Was he told he was a target? The hanged man, clarified by the ace of pentacles and the four of cups, Disappoint, disappointed. Uh, you know, 
was is this is this is this some kind of charge to do with money? I don't know. I'm just picking that up in the cards. All right. So, mm, all right. The hanged man. So, oh yeah. Okay. So the eight of rods came out. Multiple charges. Um, it could have been told in multiple ways. The nine of rods, guardrails. Okay, show me this hangman clearly, please. Was Trump told? Was Trump told? He sees the presidency as his get out of jail free card, basically. Was Trump told he's a target of the DOJ investigations? So we have the two of cups, partnerships, contracts. Seven of Swords, lies, lies and deceit, lies and deceit around contracts and loss, walking away from what no longer serves him. The lovers, his Gemini, Gemini signifier card. This is around the people that have um, appeared before the grand jury. Uh, he knows who has basically um, given evidence. Queen of Rods and the... the um, Nine of Cups, uh, Wish Fulfillment and the Past. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to say that he was told. He was told he wants a redo of 2016. There's something around his 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 fun, fundraising there, right? So that's come out of left field for me. I wasn't expecting that. I thought classified documents. But there is also something to do with his the money that he's been raising okay we'll see we'll see as time goes on whether or not i'm correct all right i'm going to leave it there remember uh keep your heads up um chin in the air uh you don't you can't do anything about this now the events were set in train for donald trump in 2016 all you can do is support your Democratic candidates um, and, you know, be step back from because people will try and draw you in with this Trump stuff. The media love the clip clickbait. Uh, but as I said, nothing will, will change on this channel. I'll read on Trump when there are big developments, um, but we'll also have that wonderful diversified content. Um I might look at, uh, we might look at some of the astrology for December next. But anyway, let's wait and see. I'll be back again um, next week with some more readings. In the meantime, have a great weekend. Turn the knob off. Don't watch. Don't press the button. Scroll on through. Better still, get off social media and get, go and do, go and visit family or eat, eat out or grab a hot dog or whatever it is. Walk in the park. Um, but until next time, uh, also thank you for your support um, and namaste.